Let's start from our homepage again, but this time when you click Create New, select Blank Canvas. This is where you'll see the option to create your own custom canvas size. You can also browse through plenty of relevant sizes that PicMonkey has pre-selected for you. I'm going to select Instagram Story and get started with my design. The first thing I want to do is change the color of my background. You'll notice your brand color palette, your recently used, and of course you can type in a custom hex code. Now I'm going to add some text. For this design, I'm going to use the text layout. Text layouts are beautifully designed text layouts made by our designers. As you can see, as I change it, the color, the effects, and the font stay the same, but of course are customizable. I'm going to drag to select these two to resize them and align them on my canvas. Once I'm happy with that, now I'm going to go add some photos. I'm going to head to the Photos and Video tab, and I'm going to search Peach. I'll see a wide variety of stock photos that I can use for my design. Once I find what I like, it'll become yet another layer to my design. I can see all my layers on the right side tab. I'm going to use our background remover tool that you can find on the image palette. Now I'm going to Command D and duplicate it. Then I'll head to Effects on my image palette, click Outline, and make adjustments on the outline. You can change the color, the thickness, and the intensity. I'm going to knock it out, and that'll create a little outline for my peach. I want to off-center it just a bit so it gives it more of a sketch design look. Now I'm going to drag and select both of those layers, and I'm going to click Command D again on my keyboard to duplicate them all over my design. I can resize, rotate, and flip to get the look that I'm going for. Now to add some last touches to my design, I'm gonna head to graphics and choose a basic graphic. This rectangle graphic is my go-to. Once I've placed it on my canvas and changed the color, I'm gonna use the layers tab to drag it all the way to the back. Now I'm gonna add some text. I'm gonna change the font and the size. Then I'm gonna head back to my graphics to add one more. PicMonkey has so many graphics that if you type in what you're looking for, you'll almost always find something. And you can always add your own. I'm gonna search for a podcast icon and the coolest thing about PicMonkey graphics is that you can change any color in them. I'm going to change that purple to a recently used orange to match the rest of my design. 